Hello and welcome to another Amazon Flex video. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna have a little bit of a closer look at the Amazon Flex app and uh, how to set it up. So the first thing to do is set up an Amazon account. Any old standard Amazon account will do. It could just be a basic account. Um, you can set up a, if you've already got one, you can just use that one or set up a brand new one. It's entirely up to yourself. The next step, if you haven't already done so, is to download the Amazon Flex app and obviously go through the application process, which I covered in the last video. Um, now, this can be a lengthy process, as mentioned in the previous video, up, up to a year in some cases. So, I mean, if you haven't done this step already, you might want to go and watch the previous video and go through that and then come back to this video once you're accepted onto the program. Um, but yeah, log into your account is the next step. Once you've logged into the app, you'll be greeted with the home screen. Now, on the home screen, at the moment, at the top, you will see a warning sign or an information sign to say, Safety is our top priority. Ensure your temperature is below 99.5 Fahrenheit, which is 37.5 Celsius. So basically, make sure you haven't got a fever. Make sure you haven't potentially got COVID-19 that you're bringing to the delivery station. Um, because obviously, Amazon tries to avoid that where possible. Um, so, yeah, they will also maybe check your temperature when you arrive um, at the logistics or Prime Now station before you pick your gear up. Um, so anyway, at the bottom of that screen, you will see a button that says Upcoming Offers. Um, you click Upcoming Offers to see if there's any work available. Once you've clicked Upcoming Offers, um, it'll take you to a new screen. And if there are offers available, you will see them in the main section of that screen. For example, in, in, in the uh, screenshot that popped up, there's an offer up there for a logistics delivery for three hours, which pays £39. Um, so if you see just above that, you'll see a little button that says Filter or filters, uh, uh, filter. So if you click on filters, it will take you to another screen. And on that screen, you can set your availability, which is, I believe, not actually functioning properly in the app. It doesn't seem to anyway. Um, you can set your availability to anything, but um, you'll still get offers even when you set yourself as not available, which is a bit of a pain, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyway, back to the offer screen. If you click on that offer that's on there, if there is an offer available, uh, if there's no offer available, it'll say no offers available at this time, check back later or something along those lines. But if you click on the offer, um, it'll then take you to a new screen with just that offer on it. Um, and you'll have some other options on there. So it'll tell you the exact time, the location and any other information that's relevant to that block. Um, now at the bottom of the screen, you will see an orange box that says swipe to accept. If you want to accept the block, you swipe it and it'll take you to the next screen. Um, if you don't want it, you can click decline block and that will then disappear from the office section. So you won't click on it again. Um, just in case there's lots of offers on, you may wish to decline certain ones and just keep the ones that you're considering doing on the office screen. But yeah, that's how we accept an offer. So with the offer accepted, it should then take you back to the home screen. Um, on the home screen, there'll be a green, a, a small green tab across the top of the screen that says offer accepted. Um, and then at the bottom of the screen, you'll see an orange tab that says refresh. Now, if you refresh that, it'll tell you if there's any more offers up. If there are more offers up, you can decide whether to accept it or not. If you don't want to accept it, you can keep on clicking refresh and more orders will come through. More orders, more offers for work will come through um, until you find one that you're happy to do. Or you can keep on clicking refresh and nothing might come through at all for hours and hours on end. Um, and then other times you'll get you'll be inundated with offers, um, especially on a Friday. Um, but the best time to pick up um, delivery blocks I find is in the mornings. So if you see at the top of the screen, I think um, it says it's 7 a.m. or so, and that's 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 approximately the best time to pick up blocks, I find, uh, around 7 in the morning. Um, so if, you, if you're looking for work on the day, that's the best time to be swiping. It's kind of 7 o'clock, half past 7, you know, that kind of thing. And usually you'll get a bunch of logistics slots for the day that come up for that afternoon. Uh, you've now got a delivery block booked in. So how can you access that? You click on Calendar on your home screen. Um, on the top of your home screen is a little button with three lines you click that it'll bring up a sub menu you click calendar um, on that calendar you'll see the month um, and on days you've got work scheduled there'll be a little um, orange dot so you just click on that and that will take you to the job that you've got booked in for that day or jobs if you've got several via tabs you just swipe across to whichever jobs you've got there it'll give you the full information on that job and from that page you can also cancel work if you don't want to do it so it's really simple to do that you click on your job 
you, and at the bottom of the of the um, page, it'll say swipe to forfeit or, or cancel the block. You, you click it or swipe it. I think it depends on whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone. But anyway, so it's it's pretty clear. You, you click to forfeit, which will then take you to a new screen, which has red writing at the bottom of it. Um, just to make you obviously aware that you're on there cancelling work. Um, there's no penalty for cancelling work as long as you leave 45 minutes before the block. So say you're booked in for two o'clock, as long as you cancel by quarter past one, you can still, you can just cancel that. There's no sort of repercussions or anything like that on your, on your standing with Amazon. Uh, I'll go into the standing with Amazon section a little bit later. Um, your reliability rating, they call it. Um, but anyway, so you're on that screen and you've cancelled the block. It should then pop up with a little a little tab at the top. It should say your calendar has been updated or something along those lines. It might be different on an Android phone. I'm not sure because I use an iPhone. Um, but anyway, so that, that then disappears from your work and you're no longer obligated to attend that delivery block. We've now covered the basics of logging in and you know accepting work, declining work. But let's say you've got work scheduled. Um, how does it work on the day? So you've got a logistics block booked. Um, it starts at one o'clock. You get a little ping two hours beforehand saying you've got work scheduled at 120 hours, uh, 120 minutes, sorry. So you get a two hour warning. When you're ready to travel to the destination, so you're starting at two, say it takes you half an hour to get there, you might want to leave at 20 past to make sure you arrive in good time. Um, you simply go into your jobs on the calendar as described before, click on your job and click travel to start destination. And from there, the app will take you onto the navigation system and you navigate to the station, to the collection station. Um, once you arrive there, the app will tell you to park. So you, you'll have to park and it'll say, you'll have to click I've arrived and then you have to scan an arrival code. And from there, you then end up picking up your deliveries and whatnot after you've waited for the guys in the depot to bring it out for you. But that's for another video. This is just for the basics. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so you've accepted the job, you've gone there, blah, blah, that's all that's done. You're coming back home. Um, so on the home screen, you can also see that there's a little drop-down menu, just a standard sort of mobile menu. You know, it's it's three three lines. Um, if you click that, it'll take you onto a little sub-menu, like the main menu, really. Um, now, the first section is the Activity Hub. Now, the Activity Hub has your standing with Amazon. So as you can see, mine is currently only fair. That's because I had an issue on a delivery, um, which ended up not going in my favor and it dropped my reliability rating for deliveries with Amazon to fair, but it doesn't seem to make any difference, to be honest. Uh, my arrival time is still excellent and stuff. So, I mean, I still get plenty of offers. Uh, I can work whenever I want to work, but yeah, it says fair. So that's something to be aware of. So if you do have some issues, Amazon pretty much don't want to know your side of the story. Um, now, this particular one, I was on a two hour block um, and I've been waiting for 90 minutes or so. Uh, I was then assigned work, which was two hours worth and I had I had to go earlier than that. So I had a discussion with the, uh, the yard marshal who said basically, tough titty, uh, here's your stuff, take it or leave it. So I, I left it because I had other obligations. Um, I haven't got all day to wait around for Amazon to decide to give me work. Um, at the end of the day, you subcontract yourself to them for a set amount of time, and if they can't meet that, then... But anyway, that's another story. But uh, yeah, so the, the Activity Hub has your standing with Amazon. Uh, this is quite a new feature on the app. It also has like badges and stuff for achievements, which I think is stupid, but uh, it's to be expected in this day and age, I guess. So anyway, the next drop down part is the calendar. We've already been through the calendar a little bit. It shows you what work you have scheduled. You can cancel your delivery slots on there. Um, so if you don't want to do a block, you simply cancel and cancel, you know, click on the date that you don't want to do and forfeit the block and it'll go to someone else. The next tab is earnings. Now this details um, when you're paid, how much money you've earned. It, it's broken down per block, as you'll see in the example I popped up. Um, and it tells you exactly when you'll be paid. You are paid weekly by Amazon. And as far as, you can also actually, you can also see there's been an adjustment paid on this one. Um, an adjustment is if you go over your time slightly, you have to apply for an adjustment. So they'll then pay you a bit extra if they deem that it's worthy of being paid extra for. So for example, in this one, I can't remember, this was ages ago, but I think um, I had returns to go back to the depot or something after 
after a customer wasn't available so they paid me an extra hour or half hour or whatever it was um but yeah you have to apply for that so if you go over your time you apply for those um <clears throat> but on on the whole this i've had no problems with pay from amazon they always pay on time they always pay what you owed um feedback now that lets you leave feedback on a variety of things to amazon i've never bothered with it myself because frankly i don't know if anybody even would read that but you feel free to leave all the feedback you want um, now the next section is settings. This is important when you're first setting up the app because you need enter your personal details in there. Your driving license needs to be uploaded with pictures and uh, your driving license number. Um, and Amazon checks that. This is all part of your background check and that's all kind of logged in, in there. But if you need to change something, you can go in there, you can change it. You can put your bank details in, you can change your bank details. It'll ask you for some tax information. Uh, here in the UK, you need to have a national insurance number, I believe, to deliver with Amazon. I don't know if there's some sort of European equivalent or whatever. But, um, yeah, so basically that has all your basic details, your vehicle information. You sh and actually talking about vehicles as well, a question that comes up again and again is, do Amazon cover you for your courier insurance? And the short answer is, yes, they do. But the longer answer is that it's only top-up insurance and it's only third party, so... It's definitely worth checking with your own personal insurer to make sure that they are okay with that, but they, they should be okay with that because any accident would happen on Amazon's time. Um, <clears throat> so their uh, Amazon's insurance, which is by Admiral, I believe, um, would then kick in if you did have an accident, but just bear in mind, it's only third party and I think the excess is like a thousand pound or something. That, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure you'd have to have a look in the, uh, in the terms and conditions for that. Um, I did know, but it was a while ago since I read them. But yeah, so the info is on the app there. The next section is help, which basically, I mean, it is what you think it is. It's help on some basic things. So if you're stuck with something, um, you can click on there and it'll give you some information on various bits and bobs. The last section is videos, which I mean, a lot of people I'm sure haven't watched them because if you go onto the, say, under the Amazon Flex forums on Facebook, There'll be guys on there asking all sorts of questions, which to me seem very basic and that are definitely covered in the videos. Um, I did watch the videos when I first started. I found them reasonably helpful. Um, so I would advise you to click on the videos tab and watch the videos um, because it, it will help you in the end. Um, but yeah, so th that's the basics on there. Um, I don't think there's anything else to cover on that section, but if there's any questions, if you want anything expanded, just drop us a line. I'm, I'm more than happy to help out. Um, uh, just before I end the video, I wanted to have a little chat about the uh, pickup stations that are available in the Northeast. This is obviously not relevant if you are not from the Northeast or not as relevant. But um, the jobs available are logistics. So logistics are for pickup from Washington. Um, I'll pop the uh, postcode for the location on there. So if you're thinking about starting Amazon, it might be worth popping this postcode into your sat nav to see if it's even worth you doing it i mean if you live i don't know 30 40 miles away from the depot i would consider probably not doing amazon flex um now a, a new logistics depot is opening in heaven or jarrow in between the two i mean again apologies if you're outside of the area this won't mean much to you but uh, that's at na32 which i'm pretty sure is jarrow or heaven but that's actually opening uh, it's actually opening today i think or maybe tomorrow um it's the 12th of november the day that i'm filming this in 2020 um but, but yeah so there, there will be two logistics stations here so there should be some extra work coming um and it might make it easier for people who live closer to the, the depot but yeah so logistics is washington and heaven coming up um then we also have prime now which is a again it's just moved location to the team valley it's moved from one part of the team valley to a new location um prime now as i mentioned in the previous video is sort of same day delivery of items that customers can order for delivery on the same day so it's now for example like it's eight o'clock if i wanted to order some wine or anything like that i don't know i don't know why i said wine but if i order something uh you can then pick a two hour delivery window or a one hour delivery window i believe if you pay a bit extra and that'll be delivered on the day um prime now deliveries are decent they're, they're my favorite ones to do they're usually two hour blocks you turn up there you get a bunch of brown bags rather than parcels and stuff for your logistics um so yeah logistics is parcels um and small letters and stuff um but this is brown bags like shopping bags like you'd see like in american movies and stuff 
uh, that kind of thing. So uh, you, you, de you deliver them to customers and as well as like stuff in cool bags and stuff, it's pretty easy. Um, and then the last lot is Morrison's Deliveries. They're deliveries from a supermarket. So Morrison's here is in Biker. This is, that's where the Amazon delivery station is. Again, the postcode will be on there. Um, yeah, so it's Biker, which is quite a hike for me. I, it's, I've only ever done Morrison's Delivery once, just it's miles away and it seems a bit of a pain in the arse, if I'm honest. Um, I prefer the Prime Nows. But yeah, so Morrison's is available to do. There's usually quite a lot of jobs from Morrison's as well. So, I mean, if you do that sort of thing, then get yourself there and do some jobs at Morrison's in Biker. Um, just a, a little word on the postcode for... Uh, the Prime Now Depot, NE970JY, that's a new postcode. Last time when I looked on Google, that wasn't actually showing up as anything. So it's, it's just next to the, where the big Sainsbury's is on in the Team Valley there in Gateshead. But like I say, obviously apologies if you're watching this and you're not local. Um, your, your app will have similar things on, just with obviously different locations. But usually this is the same sort of, you get the same sort of offers. I think in some of the like larger places like London and that, you'll have obviously different uh, different Morrisons available every week. We've got one, there might be two or three, you know, if you live in a, in a larger, more metropolitan area. But yeah, that's the, the, that's about it um, for the basics on the app. Like I say, if you've got any questions, just ask. I'm more than happy to share. Uh, and that's me done with this video for now. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if, if you did, that would be great. If not, then, you know, sorry about that. Um, I have tried to cover everything, but I've probably, I've probably missed something. I'm about to have missed something, but yeah. Uh, Amazon Flex, it's all right. Uh, give it a go. Have a have a go. If you're new to Amazon Flex, then maybe this these sort of videos might put you at ease because really everything's really simple. Everything's there for you. Honestly, the more the hardest part about doing Flex is actually the sign up part where you have to wait forever and um, finding jobs. It can be frustrating sometimes if you if you're looking for work. I mean. Luckily, I, I'm not really relying on the money for it to be honest with you, but I know lots of people are. Um, some people actually do this sort of try to do it full time. Well, you can't do it full time, but you, I think you capped at twenty or twenty four hours a week. Um, but some people do rely on this for their main source of income, and and they are on that app all the time, swiping, 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 desperate for work, and always swapping shifts and whatnot. You know, on the on the forums. <clears throat> I would encourage you to join the forums on Facebook um, because you get some helpful information. And you can swap shifts, like I say, if you if you can't do one, you can actually exchange them with another flex driver who who can do them. You can swap it for one of theirs, or or just give it to somebody else, you know, rather than just forfeiting them. But yeah, uh, that that's all for today. Um, I've got to go out to me real work now, which I uh, wish I didn't have to, but I do have to. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked it, and if you did like it, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Thanks now.